we have a woman who was inside of a lift car getting a ride. She gets shot in the head. She survived because her wig literally stopped the bullet from going into her brain. Put up the picture full mass. This is going to be an amazing story. A DeKalb County woman in the state of Georgia was saved from a stray bullet due to her wig. The victim was asked to withhold, withhold her name. Let me give you background to the incident. The life changing event happened on June 10th, the first day of the woman's new job. It also was the aftermath of a heated argument between two men nearby. She heard them while she was pulling up to the East Perimeter Point Apartments on Snapfinger Woods in her lift and immediately felt uneasy. Now, for full transparency, I used to live there. I used to live on Snapfinger Woods. So I know exactly what she was referring to when she said she pulled up. Folks are arguing. She already knows what may be about to happen, okay? So she told Fox 5 News, next thing you know, next thing you know, we hear gunshots. The three bullets hit his car, two hit me. The wig I had on stopped one, and one landed on my head, likely a ricochet. I have a bullet in my head right now, she said. Remarkably, she survived the injuries and believes her life being spared was an act of divine intervention. I agree. I had to pick up my belongings from the homicide department because nobody counted on me making it, she said in the interview. Quote, God is real. I wouldn't be here with my kids today if God wasn't real, end quote. Now I want to highlight the significance of the statement she made about where she had to pick up her belongings. When all of this happened, naturally she has to go to the hospital, right? Uh, Detectives arrived. There was an assumption made that because of her injuries and because of where she was shot, she would not survive. So who took over the investigation? Who decided to lead the investigation and gather the evidence? Homicide detectives, homicide detectives, because they were that sure she was going to die, but she did not. The Lyft driver is a hero. Let me highlight what this Lyft driver did. While she gave God the glory, okay? She also celebrated the Lyft driver, calling him her quote hero. Amid the shooting, he made sure to give her aid while the shots were happening. An act that not only saved a life, but put his life at risk. Quote, he came around the car, even though bullets were still flying. He came and got out of his car, one could have hit him. But he held my hand and tried to keep me conscious until the ambulance got there, she said. So let me tell you how the wig saved her life. She was immediately taken to Grady Hospital, okay? Grady Memorial Hospital, um, major trauma hospital, where doctors were actually unable to remove the bullet from her head. She was lucky despite penetrating her cranium. The velocity of the bullet was not strong enough to make it into a brain because the wig, in part, slowed down that velocity. It's basic physics. Authorities, from the DeKalb County Police Department are currently investigating the incident. No arrests have been made thus far. Now, if you think that's something, the same damn thing happened about 14 years ago, put it up. This is not the first time that someone has experienced being saved because of a wig. 14 years ago in Kansas City, a woman survived a similar incident where her wig stopped a 40 caliber bullet from entering her skull. The victim said, quote, I invested a lot, a lot of money into this weed and it saved my life. Yes, end quote. All right, now we have historic cases happening today. People are discriminating in particular against black women from wearing various hairstyles, including weave and wigs, etc. Well, we see here, it could actually save a life. Now, I know there are many people saying, well, it could not have been the wig because it was too thin, et cetera. No, it was conclusively uh, the wig that helped stop the velocity according to the medical experts involved. All right, Ben, thoughts here. 
I, I uh, firstly, you gotta hope when she got out of the hospital, she gave that Lyft driver five stars. This has gotta be <laughs> a five, right, star gotta be five star situation. <laughs> Maybe a nice tip on there too. Um, this, I think the real moral of the story here is this is why you don't skimp on your wigs. Right. She right. clearly went thick. She clearly That's went right. top notch. She went with the That's top tier stuff. She went top tier stuff. She's not going. The point of the wig is to thicken the hair. You want to thick it right. You want to go with the expensive stuff. And like you said, it's not the first time I watched the news story from the one 14 years ago. And um, I would like to to shame the news organization from using the headline on that story, unbeweavable. They really did no, put that did. up there. They did. I'll use the old man. It said unbeweavable. And yeah. so that they could have probably thought a little harder on that one. But yeah. you gotta thank, I think, not just the Lord, but also the wig makers that are really doing God's work and uh, really making a quality product. I wish you would tell us what company she got the wig from because that company needs some shine as well. Yeah, man, uh, big time.